Joe, do you want to sponsor us off? Frank, um, those three goals in six minutes in the second half, how, how do you explain the situation like that? Yeah, just uh, three goals that finished the game. Um, Mistakes from us, individual or unit mistakes defensively and against the team of Brighton's quality, you take a game that's probably pretty pretty even other than the goal in the first half. I thought we could have been better, but possession-wise it was uh, pretty even and uh, it finished the game. How do you and the team come back from that? It's a massive game, it's going to be a big half-time team talk. That's the last thing you want to see. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's very, you, you can't come back from that in the game other than show resilience and keep playing to the end of the game and try and make things happen as you should do. But other than that, the reality is in the Premier League at 4 0, it's, it's going to be very tough to turn that in half an hour. So, did you think your players did that for the last half hour? Um, yeah, it's a difficult circumstance. I'm not here to talk about the last half hour, really. I think the six minutes of mistakes which changed the game after that, I think it's important they do the right thing to the end of the game. So it's, uh, it's very difficult playing at 4 0. And it's very easy playing at Fauna when you're winning. And um, we, we, it's, that's our responsibility because we allowed that to happen. But that's the circumstance of the last half an hour. Do you think one of the most notable things about the second half was the chance to suck the board? Do you have any thoughts on that? No. And do you have any concerns about your own position? Uh, always. You're working always. So the only concerns you can have is the work that you do the next day. Because since the minute I got here, we were in a relegation battle. And um, that's something that you uh, have to handle. And it might mean results or days like this. And you just have to focus on going again because it's the things you can control. Simple as that. Frank, do you see enough in certain parts of the performance tonight to make you think that the you can turn this around with this group of players and, and kind of go again? Yeah, because I've seen enough uh, on Saturday in terms of parts of the performance. I've seen enough in certain performances. What isn't good enough is the consistency of the team to get results. And we have to respect Brighton. They're a good team who have come here today. And uh, as I say, I felt the first half, the, 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 the look at the first half was what we expected. They try and play a lot. We had a lot of high regains. We had some opportunities. They play through you sometimes. You have to get stretched to go man for man with them and all those things. And that the first half I didn't hate. Um, but obviously the, the, uh, the, the six minutes is not good enough from us and it, if you're going to perform like that and defensively then you will lose games. What do you say to the players after a result and a performance? I don't, I don't think it's time to go into the dressing room talk but it's, uh, it's just a day after a result like that and I've been there many a time. It's personal responsibility and that's every player and, and myself. You know, it's what, what could I do better? What can you do better in the next time? I think as long as you do that and don't look left or right at anyone else, I think that's the only reaction to, to days like today. And you obviously, you, you bring on some like other things who's been recalled from Sunderland. I mean, is, is that maybe an indication that constraints are maybe working against you with regards to improving the squad in the way you would like? Um, we brought back Ellis because he's our player and is another attacking option for us. Um, I don't know what it's an indication of. You know, we brought Isaac on as a young player and I thought Isaac came on with good enthusiasm and an effort. He's a developing player, as is Ellis. Um, we want to help the squad in January, yeah, for sure. We want players that can impact now, yeah, for sure. Maybe that's where we're at, but uh, uh, I'm not sure what the direct relative... I understand what your, your point is, but yeah. Cheers. Oh, Frank, uh, you obviously understand the, the question on a night like this, but do you... Would you do you fear about the future for yourself? Or? I, f I thought I just answered that one. I mean, in terms of since I've been in here, we've been in this situation of relegation battle, whatever you want to call it, last year and through this season, really. So um, it's not a case of fear. It's a case of just keep working. I can't control the talk or the decisions when you're around this area of the table. This is what happens. You lose a game like this. I absolutely understand any reaction. I don't listen to too much of it because if you do, it becomes your focal point. So I don't focus on it. Yeah, it's 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 difficult. We have to understand maybe human nature and the disappointment at that time. Um it is what it is. What can I say? I don't want to comment on it too much. Are you confident, Frank, that you can turn it around? I'm, I'm very confident in myself um, and we'll work to turn it round. I can't predict the future. We have to try and win games and the next game's in front of us are Manchester United and Southampton in the league. So that's all we can look at. OK, folks. Good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Right, thank you.